Hello everyone, this is Nick Fenton, founder of TickerTank.com here with you. Today I wanted to discuss how to determine whether an option is liquid enough to trade or not. So the first thing you want to do is go to your trade tab here and we're using the Thinkorswim desktop software. That's our recommended broker here at TickerTank. Um, so SPY, we'll start with SPY, which going into it we know is a very liquid option. Why is it a liquid option? Well, first thing we like to do is go over here to our layout. And we want to focus on a preset parameter here, which is volume and open interest. So we click on volume and open interest. And we want to look at the front month, which in this case, February is expiring today. You can see here it's a zero days left in the February options. So we'll go to the, the front month as March 2013 just the regular March we're not looking at any of the weeklies we're just or the quarterlies just the regular March options with 28 days left until expiration let's drop that down we're currently showing 12 strikes that's plenty what we want to do is look at the closest to the money strike currently we have spy trading at right around 152 really it's 151.99 so pretty much 152 so let's look at the 152 strike you can look at the call side here on the left or the put side, doesn't matter, either side. We'll focus on the put side. Right here you can see the bid is 2.04, the ask is 2.05. So the difference between the bid and the ask is one cent. It doesn't get any tighter than that. That is beautiful. You want the tighter the bid ask spread, the better. And when people are talking about bid ask spread, that's all they're doing is they're comparing the difference between the bid and the ask. And in this case, 2.05 minus 2.04 is 0 0.01, so we have a one cent bid ask spread. Next thing you want to look at is volume. Now you can see here we have volume on that specific strike. The front month closest to the money strike uh, is the 152. 68,820. That is significant volume. I tend to look for volume of 500 or more to really classify it as something I'm willing to trade. So in this case we're well above 500 as you can see with 68,000. And over here in open interest I look for 1,000 or higher and in this case we have 57,959 so we're well above my personal criteria of 1,000. So in looking at all three of these elements combined the bid ask spread really being the most important because if you have a tight bid ask spread then in turn you're going to have high volume and high open interest. So the main thing you want to focus on is the bid-ask spread, but if you don't have that type of bid-ask spread, that's when you come over here and you take a look at volume and open interest and say, okay, do I have at least 500 in volume and at least 1,000 in open interest in my case? You know, you're going to want to make your own criteria, or you can follow mine, whatever you want to do. So let's take a look at another example here. Let's pull up Apple, a very popular name. So we're currently trading at 460.32, which would put our closest to the money strike at 460. Again, we're going to focus on the front month, March options. We'll go here to the 460 strike, and let's look at the put side again. 1315 is our bid, 1325 is our ask. So you can see we've got a 10 cent bid ask spread on the closest to the money strike price. That is much wider than our 1 cent, but still relatively, relatively liquid. 10 cents is about the, the top of the line as, all, as, as far as I'll go, as far as bid ask spread. <clears throat> anything wider than 10 cents and I'm a little bit weary you know I'll go up to about 15 cents but with a stock like Apple you've got a really high priced stock and this is when you this is when the volume and open interest criteria comes in handy does it have at least 500 volume yes we're 2796 here so it's well above the 500 volume requirement my personal requirement does it have a thousand open interest in this case we're at 6432 so yeah we've got 5432 above my 1,000 minimum acceptable open interest in my personal criteria. So, you know, this is a bit of a wide bid ask spread, but considering we have nice volume and open interest, and Apple is a very popular stock, very high priced stock that uh, you want to be able to utilize options in in order to utilize, use less capital to trade it, then, you know, I, I would go ahead and util, use these options and uh, feel comfortable doing it but it's not the most liquid stock it's nowhere near the liquidity that you see in SPY and therefore you may have some slippage risk on entry and exit slippage risk just means you might not get the best price on your entry and you might not get the best price on your exit 
So the difference between what the actual natural price is and what the mid price is um, is kind of where your slippage shows in. And we'll, we'll talk about that a little bit more in depth in another video. Let's look at one last stock, ISRG, Intuitive Surgical. The Da Vinci Surgical Robot is their most famous product. But this is a very cool, innovative company. But does it have very liquid options? 569 is the current price. So 570 is going to be our closest strike. Go down here 570 on the put side again. 1180 on the bid. 1260 on the calls. Ouch. So we're looking at 80 cent bid ask spread. That is extremely wide. What do we have here for volume? 54. So it's nowhere near my uh, 500 minimum acceptable requirement. What do we have on open interest? 97. That's quite below the 1,000 mark that I uh, personally have for open interest. So, in turn, I would not be trading ISRG options. I would not deem ISRG as a liquid options market. I would certainly deem SPY as the most liquid of liquid options markets, and Apple is right there on the edge of me being willing to trade, but ISRG is well outside that range. As you can see, it's fluctuating right here, 1210, 1260. So now we only have 50 cent wide, whereas just a moment ago it was 80 cents wide, but still 50 cents wide with that little volume and that little open interest, not interested in trading it. So that is how I determine liquidity in options markets. Liquidity is a very, very, very important, the most important thing when going into an options trade. You should only be trading very liquid options. Otherwise, you're really going to get burned with slippage on entry and exit, especially exit. So that's the tip of the day. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments section.